making my way down to the same area I was yesterday morning. This time, we got the 17 as well, so if we see squirrels again, like we did yesterday, they are all fair game, but yesterday there was a bunch of deer on this little bench right here, but today I haven't seen anything, so uh, we're just going to go down there and give it a shot. Mrat, mrat, mrat. It's not a deer, but I waited like an hour afterwards and the deer never came back, so I had two squirrels over here barking at each other. I just shot one. The partner's down over here, so we're gonna go try and get the second one too.
man, I don't know which shot hit him, but he wasn't reacting like he got hit at all. So I kept sending it. I'm not sure if my last one or the second to the last one got him, but he wasn't looking right after my second to the last shot. So kept giving me a shot. So I just kept sending it. Like, come on, man. Like, that's as good as a shot can get. And he just, he just took it like a champ. That really not get him? Got him that time. That's number three. I didn't even know that. This guy was also here. I thought there was only two, but I was just working my way back and I look up at the top of these trees and I I see some rustling in the leaves and then I see this big bushy tail. There's number three, so I got set up. First shot, I don't know how I missed. Second shot, I think I hit him. He just didn't go down. And then third shot, I hit him again. Or something like that, but took two shots to take the squirrel down. So number three, there we go. That is my bag for this morning hunt. Could have been a three-point blacktail buck, but I saw him right here, like 40 yards above me, and he started trotting and going after those does. So he never gave me a shot opportunity. But that's okay because we're making progress. That's the first buck I've seen on this trip. That's my first ever blacktail buck. I've seen blacktail deer hunting, so I can say I'm pretty happy with it, even though I didn't get to shoot it. I saw them running back that way, so I sat on the rock for an hour just to see if they were gonna come back. They didn't. And so I was like, well, if they didn't come back, that means they're probably well off back towards this way on the other side of this face. Maybe even like, who knows however many ridges over. And so I was like, well, if they're not coming back, there's plenty of squirrels running around me, so I snuck over this little uh, ridge right here, took out the 17 HMR, and there were squirrels running down here, and then they eventually went up into trees. I only knew of two at first, and so I went after those two, and I got these two right here, and then as I was just working my way back, a third one decided to show itself up on this tree, and uh, I eventually got him as well. And that first shot, well the first shot didn't go off because uh my gun was still on safety i was like man why is my gun not going off i was holding my breath for so long like i had to like put my gun down and like breathe because i was like dude i'm holding my breath for too long this gun's not going off turns out my gun was on safety but i sure am pretty happy with three squirrels so far and it's not even over yet who knows anything could walk by right now and so i should probably quiet down and just settle back in
got him. That tree right there, that's where I shot from. And he was right around somewhere right here. And I was looking around here, couldn't find him, but that's because he just rolled down a little bit. So we got him. That's a big squirrel. <laughs> yeah, that is a beast of a squirrel right there. Look how big that tail is. All the squirrels I've shot today are nice size, but this guy takes the cake. Just an absolute beefy dude. Headshot. He was facing towards me, so I was like, that's a perfect place to put the bullet. Exactly where I was aiming, and he was out. No meat wasted on this squirrel right here. Just put it right in the head, and the body is completely fine to eat. That's always the advantage of a headshot of a squirrel, but the only problem is the head is a pretty small target, and so you might miss a lot more than you hit, depending on how much of a rest you have. Luckily, when I was picking my spot to stand and wait for this squirrel, I purposely stood by a tree so that if a squirrel popped out, I would be able to lean against that tree as a rest. And it worked out just fine. So, that's number four for the day. I gotta get back to my stuff. and tonight we're eating pho so there's our little table over here with all the pho ingredients we got the bone broth boiling right here so basically we're just gonna eat this and then hit the sack and then we have tomorrow Wednesday Thursday Friday Saturday four more days to try and get this done on a black tailed buck Day five, still after my first blacktail deer. My brother just dropped me off and I'm gonna head back down into the same area where I saw that three plant buck yesterday morning. So I'm gonna drop down over here. My brother's gonna go in, pick up my grandpa-in-law and then drop him off at a different spot. And then my brother's gonna come back here and drop on this side of this ridge. And so my brother's gonna hunt this valley down here and I'm gonna hunt this valley over here, so. messing around with the camera. So he just went up and over this ridge. I'm just gonna stay put. They've gotta eventually work their way back. Oh, there's one up here. Up in the tree.
hit him. Oh, he fell. I knew I hit him. He was up in this tree when I shot him and he fell down and come on is that not a perfect shot right there he took it like a champ perfect shot right behind the shoulder nice bushy tail that's a decent sized squirrel I'll take him I know there's two of them so Gonna wait out for the partner. Man, these squirrels here are just champs, man. Like, that shot placement is money. And he just did not drop. got that one <laughs> he's a pretty small one I got this guy there's one down here barking down here too I'm gonna go pick this guy up I just went and got this guy again I said this guy was pretty small I saw his size when he was climbing up the tree he was pretty small but he was looking at me so I had a frontal and uh, put it right in his chest and fell off the tree but this guy has a partner down here barking so we're gonna go find this guy too number two these little guys right here they're the best eating Perfect shot. This is number three. I just missed number four in these two trees right here. I've sat right here for the past two and a half hours. I came onto the back side of this ridge so that I could hide from the sun. And I'm just waiting for the evening to go on a deer. And out of nowhere, I just have a squirrel start barking at me like 20 yards behind me. I could have shot him, but I was a little low on the ground. 
down, so I stood up, and then he got off the tree. I hit this branch in front of me. He's up in this tree. He's hunkered down somewhere. I'm just gonna wait him out. I have no idea how I missed that shot, but I did. I whiffed it. Oh, he's right there. These squirrels, they're smart. When they get a little bit of pressure like that, they'll just climb up a tree and they'll just be very still. And a lot of times by being very still, predators or hunters even, they lose interest in the squirrel because they can't find it in the tree. Or they just get into this mentality that the squirrel has somehow left the tree and that there's no longer a squirrel in there. But this tree is so like, spaced apart from all the other trees i was like there is no way this squirrel has escaped this tree and so i was right there in my second shot I was shooting off my knee but then i moved like 10 yards closer to the tree that the squirrel was in and i saw this big old tree and if you have the opportunity to lean up against a tree like this and just shoot a squirrel you increase your odds of not just uh, squirrel hunting but whatever you're hunting if you're able to lean up against a tree like this your stability is just next level as compared to like just you know hand holding it like this or just shooting off your knee and so he popped right back out on a little tree limb he was looking at me and i was leaning against this tree put the crosshair right around his chest right here shot and he just dropped right there that Oops. he was facing me and so I put it right here that's exactly where I hit that's the power of leaning up against a tree your shot is just way more stable so just a nice little squirrel almost gave me the slip but he kept coming back and peeking at me and the third one flew true. So that's number four for the day, which is pretty crazy. And it's perfect because it's almost prime time to go find a deer again. So I'm definitely getting my fair share of squirrel fun today. Just look how pretty that squirrel is. Nice bushy tail, but all right. Nice. Let's go and uh, grab the 17 and then go back to where we're sitting and go eat.
Today is Saturday and uh, we're pretty much cleaning up camp so we've already taken the side walls out and basically just have to take care of all this stuff here and then we're out of here. So that's a wrap for my black tailed deer hunt for the year. I had one opportunity but it just didn't come together so we're going to clean up here, back home I go and then we're off to chasing mule deer. Yeah, I think we'll move it.